In this video, we'll walk through a couple of examples of converting a Cartesian equation, that's something that's in just terms of y and x, into parametric form. That is a set of equations with y and x and the parameter, usually t. So our first one is y equals 3x plus 5. If we have this basic example where y equals some function of x, then we can just go right through and say, well, x equals our parameter, t, and then y equals the function evaluated at t, and that's this function. So let's just do that real quickly. x equals t, and y equals 3t plus 5. This is our f of t, or f of x function, and then evaluated at t. The next one is x squared plus y squared equals 16. Now this is not quite as simple to make it y equals f of x, so we have to consider what does it look like? Oftentimes we'll think about a trigonometric identity that this looks like. We have x squared plus y squared equals 16, and this looks similar to, not exactly like, but it looks similar to sine squared of t plus cosine squared of t equals 1. I know usually you would put the theta there, but I just want to stay consistent with using t for the parameter. Absolutely, you could use theta for a parameter as well. Now, uh, I'm going to rewrite this as sine of t quantity squared, because that's really what this, this shorthand way of writing uh, sine squared is. Cosine of t quantity squared equals 1. And that's just going to help us see this a little bit easier. Now, we want to make this equation look like, like what we have here. Sine of t quantity squared plus cosine of t quantity squared equals 1. So I'm going to divide each side by 16. So x squared over 16 plus y squared over 16 equals 1 getting closer. We've got something squared plus something squared equals 1, but it's not quite something squared. It's just the numerator squared. So let's rewrite that as x over 4 quantity squared and y over 4 quantity squared equals 1. Now this really does match the sine of t and cosine of t in each of those squared. So what I'm going to do now is say that x over 4 equals sine of t. Or, that is, x equals 4 times sine of t. And I'll say that y over 4 equals cosine of t. So then, that would leave us with y equals 4 times cosine of t. And so this is our set of parametric equations to relate to our original Cartesian equation, x squared plus y squared equals 16.